Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. Tonight I want to talk to you about why are some vision therapy programs more successful than others, and there's various levels of success. I don't know that this is really a topic we've talked about before, but it's definitely an interesting one. I feel like it is worthy of a, a video. First, I want to talk to you about how you can connect with us. You can call our office direct at 618-288-288. 1489 if you're local. Now, if you're not local, which means that you are um, not in our state, but in another state or in another country, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you can fill out a questionnaire. Or if you have maybe been following our videos for a while and know that you want to take a next step, you can schedule a consultation. Now, let's go back and talk about various vision therapy programs. I've been doing this long enough. In fact, 20 years. Oh, can't believe it's been 20 years. All right, that I've definitely seen a lot of changes in my own style of vision therapy and um, had many, many changes. I've also had the ability, because I train other doctors who do this as well, to see what are some of the things out there that people are doing. I want to kind of go through a couple of the things that I've seen throughout the years. One is sometimes programs are really about um, tracking and learning how to track and follow objects. So we call it like ocular motor therapy, which means either tracking an object like a pursuit, following something, or an eye movement where we're trying to read, which would be a saccadic eye movement where we jump from one word or one item to the next. So a lot of times tracking therapy is going to be a short type of a program, like maybe 10 or 12 weeks. Other therapy programs that I see really kind of deal with maybe a problem of convergence. And those can oftentimes be short programs too, maybe somewhere along the lines of 10 to 20 week programs or so. Uh, but generally speaking, these types of programs, there's not a lot that's really delved into about eye alignment, if there's a strabismus, um, maybe even sometimes there's not a lot done in terms of um, what we call suppression work, where one eye might be getting ignored by the brain. Now, when you're talking about things like amblyopia, strabismus or an eye turn, and amblyopia being where you can't see as well in one eye versus the other, maybe even both eyes, um, or if we're talking about something like a stroke or traumatic brain injury, those are definitely longer programs. But there are also things that set apart those types of programs as well. So some doctors utilize other forms of treatment in addition to vision therapy, which we consider to be a little bit more of a mechanical type of procedure where we're training the brain, maybe each eye individually how to track, work to, and then work together and then gain depth perception. That's a little bit more mechanical in nature. And we talk often about syntonics, which is more of an electrical component of triggering the brain to do something with vision a little bit different. So one thing that will set apart a lot of programs is whether or not that program involves the use of syntonics or um, also known as light therapy or sometimes photo light therapy. If the program doesn't include that, it doesn't mean that it can't be successful, but it certainly means it's definitely different and the success may take a little bit longer. If we are looking at something like traumatic brain injury or maybe wanting to, to reduce a lens prescription or working with strabismus um, or amblyopia, I really consider that a program cannot be as efficient as it should or could be if light therapy is not used. Now, that doesn't mean, again, that it can't be successful, but I don't feel that it is going to be as um, thorough or as successful as it could be with light therapy. Simply put, since I started using syntonic light therapy, I would never do any of my vision therapy cases without it anymore. Now, again, um, the length of time, if you're kind of given a short order of things, it tells you you're a little bit more into maybe like a tracking program or maybe just a convergence or what they would call accommodative or focusing problem program. And with us, we're usually looking more globally at everything that's going on with vision. 
I know that if there's an ocular motor or tracking problem, there's probably other issues that are going on too. And most likely we're going to make sure that we have a longer program as well, rounding out lots of different issues that need to be covered. We won't just be focusing our attention with that. To just to focus our attention on like a focusing problem, or uh, which I mean a, what is called accommodation or the ability to see something clearly, not like the ability to sit and attend to a detail, although that could be part of it. Um, the other part of it, again, is to say if it's a focusing issue like accommodation or if it's just a tracking problem like a saccadic or pursuit eye movement, also known as ocular motor. Whew, this is a lot of terms tonight. Are you following me? Oh, I hope so. But if it's just those sorts of things, really, really basic then the program is gonna to tend to be a little bit shorter. And for me, I'm going to look at it and say, if those things exist, I'm pretty positive there's other things existing too with that visual system that we need to be addressing, which will lengthen the program. And also for us, mean that we're using photosyntonics or light therapy goggles as part of our treatment protocol. Now, hopefully that wasn't just completely confusing and didn't just a roundabout nonstop on you, but you were able to make a little sense out of it. If you felt like this is important and maybe you even have gone through a vision therapy program before and found that it was, you know, kind of successful or minimally successful and didn't really hit what you wanted it to hit, then contact us, especially if you're local, you can call us easily at 618-288-149. 1489, but if you're not local, go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and either schedule a consultation or click on the questionnaire and fill that out. Either one of those methods, you'll end up getting to talking to our clinic or talking to me, and we'll talk to you about how we might be able to help you. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the all bell icon on there so that you get all of our video, notifica video notifications. And uh, with that, I'll say thank you for tuning in.